that this country neglects research. And uh, I want to let you know that since independence, there has been a policy, a policy that uh, we call the National Policy on Science and Technology. And that policy is a policy that incorporates a funding mechanism for research. Now, unfortunately, that policy, that funding mechanism and that policy has not been implemented as I'm talking to you now. And uh, that policy has been reviewed 14 times in the past 50 years or so, since independence. Now, as I speak now, for the third time during the period, during the tenure of Buhari, two times during his tenure, the, the National Research and Innovation Council, which is a component of that policy, was passed by the National Assembly, and, um, and the, the president, for whatever reason, did not ascend to that, that council. Unfortunately, he is a, the, the chairman of that council. Now, as I speak to you now, for the third time, that council, the bill for that council, has gone to the National Assembly for the third time. And it has been passed by the Senate. We are expecting that the House of Rep will pass it this week. But we have just three weeks to convince the President that without this bill, research cannot be adequately funded and there will be, Nigeria will continue to remain under the below. So we want the press to please talk about this. This bill does not require, even though it's called a site funding bill, it doesn't require extra budgetary allocation from government. In fact, it is not supposed to be funded by government. It's supposed to be funded by agencies that already collect tax, and they're supposed to just give 5% from what they collect, and keep 95%. Just 5% to contribute to the research fund that will drive research in this country. So there is no reason why the government cannot um, um, give assent and establish that council because we are not asking them for budgetary allocation for the council, for the fund. And uh, in fact, the way it is now, there is not even going to be another establishment, a structure. That money will be domiciled in the uh, uh, um, finance ministry. So you are not creating any separate institution that you say, okay, you are proliferating institutions. You know, we are going to use existing institutions, which is Science and Technology Ministry and the Finance Ministry, to you know um, house the fund when it is collected and then disperse it to the research institutions or the or the institutions that do research. So this is a, this is where we are now. If in three weeks' time we don't get the president to assent to that bill, it means that for the eight years of Buhari's tenure, that bill. Was, was, was passed three good times and it was not assented. So something must be wrong. Because the first time it was passed, it was sponsored by 60 senators. Now we have about 200 and something senators in the Federal Republic. So if 60 of them sponsor one B, that's a record you know, level of sponsoring. That means that will show you the level of acceptance of that B. So if a B that is sponsored by 60 senators cannot pass presidential assent, then something is wrong. Because, you see, the essence of CC Senator sponsoring it is to show that, look, if you don't assent to it, we can override, override it. Are you getting it? But that doesn't seem to be making any meaning to government, you know? And then we've been struggling uh, for, for so many years now to get that bill passed. Because debt fund does not fund research institutions. There were six occasions when the National Assembly wanted to amend the Ted Fund, Fund, uh, you know, Fund Act. But as who came and said it's their baby, that over their dead body will it be amended to accommodate research institutions. But this one that is in the policy of government, that creates a funding mechanism, and this policy is approved by government, this National Policy of Science and Technology, why is that component of that policy not being implemented? It's a question for all of you, all the press should help us, please, uh, you know, broadcast this so that they will, they will hear that there is need to establish the National Research and Innovation Council to fund and coordinate research. Thank you very much. Yeah.